Hi, welcome to Let's Talk Bonds, the weekly podcast from INR Bonds. I am Arjun Parsati, and in today's podcast, I am going to take talk to you about the tussle between the bond issuers and investors in a market where there is a lot of uncertainty on interest rates. Just before that, do not forget to download our app, Quick Invest by INR Bonds, where you get the best bonds curated for you. With the risk score that is the most important for you, so and the to gauge your the return and the risk that you're taking on investment in bonds. And once you select the bonds, it's a very seamless in-app investment process where you get the bonds in your DMAT account the next day or the same day, depending on the transaction. It was a tough journey going from an intern to a senior professional. Now to protect my savings against high inflation and grow my wealth, I invest in bonds with INR Bonds. Download the INR Bonds app to save better. Coming back to Let's Talk Bonds. Let's Talk Bonds is a weekly podcast where I will be taking you through all the options available for fixed income investors in the market. Where is the best place to invest in? What are the uh, strategies to look at? In an and what how is the environment for fixed income playing out so like i was mentioning today in uh, this podcast i'm going to talk to you why issuers want to issue long maturity bonds but investors want to lend short that is invest only in short maturity bonds so coming back to the main interest rate environment uh, we have very a uh, lot of uncertainty on the rates so we have been i have been talking about a lot of lot on inflation the central bank rate hikes then government borrowing uh financial market the risk aversion the in india the rupee is depreciating globally everywhere a lot of volatility in all the places so in all that there is a lot of uncertainty on where interest rates are headed and uh, if the last 6 to 8 months interest rates have been one way up that is bond prices have fallen very sharply or bond yields have gone up which either of them is it is the same now in this um, environment uh, typically what happens is there is a problem of liquidity for issuers because if the issuer is not a very well known or fundamentally weak issuer or high risk issuer Uh, typically when central banks tighten and interest rates are rising a lot of risk aversion is there they find that uh, money that was cheap is no longer available so even at higher prices it may be available for some of them money may not be available at all so when some when they have issued a debt for example to two years back and it's maturing this year and they have to roll over the debt then they might not be able to roll over or they may have to pay much higher cost so many most issuers want to avoid this problem so what they do is they try to borrow long term which is say 5 years 10 years etc but when, when they borrow long term the demand is very less at the investor community because interest, investors see that interest rates are rising there is a lot of risk aversion uh, they are worried about the credit as well so they typically tend to only look at short term investments like 1 to 3 year maximum even over 3 years 3 years it's also very long for them and uh, even if they do 3 years of mem as up to 3 years is what most of the demand is coming in so the with this big uh, tussle then the bond issuers are forced to tag the line of the investor and then invest bonds for short maturity but uh, then it's not a great idea for them because in a uncertain market when the bonds come up for redemption if they're not able to get liquidity they could face issue of servicing the debt uh, that's the biggest tussle the market is facing now so it is there are some long term investors like pension funds insurance companies but they invest only in the psu bonds and the highest rated bonds which is not the which is not helping many or most of the issuers in the market and hence issuers who wanting to lend long borrow long 
uh, do face a lot of issue, demand issues. So they have to pay higher yield for the bonds. But uh, when they pay higher yield, obviously, uh, investors are worried about the, the long duration of the bonds, that is long maturity. And uh, while yields are attractive, they may not be very sure how the company can uh, look, look in the future. Maybe one to three years, up to three years, there could be some visibility, but definitely not over that. And hence, uh, this tussle is likely to continue. Investors will search for good levels uh, up to three years of maturity. Issuers will always want to invest longer periods. Some and uh, issuers, uh, if they're not getting uh, bond investors in bonds for long maturity bonds, they have to tow the short term line. So it that has become an investor's market, and it, but investors in this market have to be extremely careful on which bonds they're investing in, which issuer. Uh, even if it is if it's available at high yields, high yields they should understand that it carries much more risk than what it carried last year, for example. Uh, hence, it's very important to understand the risk. And the best place to come to understand the risk is INR bonds because we have our own proprietary risk rating model, which doesn't take into account the credit rating, which is the model does not really look at whether it's AAA or AA rated. It looks at other factors, most, more specifically market factors. And market uh, can definitely let you know a lot of things which the rating cannot. Thank you very much for listening to this podcast. Do not forget to follow us on all the podcast channels, YouTube, uh, Apple Podcast, uh, Amazon Music, Spotify. And um, uh, do not forget to Download our app, we can respire INR bonds.